Seated in this hall are captains of industry. It is the 55th anniversary dinner of Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN. In his opening remark, the president and chairman of the council of the institute hinted on the tradition of the meeting and what to expect. By tradition, the event is also a platform whereby the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, TBN, gives an insight into the monetary policies of the APS regulatory body in the present and, of course, the coming year. Without dilly darling, the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria explained the factors which threw the country into recession, which he said was inevitable. The Nigerian economy was not immune from the COVID-19 shock in 2020. Nigeria's GDP contracted by minus 3.4% during the third quarter of 2020, a welcome improvement from minus 6.1% recorded during the second quarter. The negative rate of growth was due to a series of external factors in addition to the lockdown measures imposed in order to curtail the spread of the virus. Despite these setbacks, the prospect of bouncing back is high. Notwithstanding the challenges posed by the current crisis, we are very optimistic that Nigeria will surmount this challenge. And indeed, recovery is in sight. This will be our first full year as, um, as, as a government, and we thought that 2020, indeed, we're going to be very audacious. We started the year by, by um, approving, or by the House approving for us, the largest, the biggest single budget by a sub-national, indeed, the largest budget by Lagos State in 2020. And the banking industry were a major supporter of that because very creatively, because we didn't even know that that was going to happen around December into January, we raised the biggest subnational bond as well, which was a hundred billion at that time. These speeches will be put to test in the coming days with the hope that the pandemic would have been mitigated against or even curtailed.